I want to teach you today three games that Ann Saylor and I've been using in our trainings that come from our books that are very versatile for the audience and easy to do on Zoom. The first one's called Quick Thinking. You need an alphabet deck and category cards. Category cards are your part of making this game. It's only limited by your imagination. So do you want this to be a get to know you time where you just learn more about the kids in your class or your staff team? Or do you need them to reflect on the business and where it's going? You get to decide. So let's say it's an icebreaker. And the categories are, some, are things like favorite way to spend your time, a place to visit, family tradition, movie. And then you have your alphabet card. So those are the samples. You designate the first two people to go. Let's say it's Ed and Melanie. They face off. They chime in by hitting the reaction button. I announce the category. This is obviously before they chime in. And I say, family tradition. I draw a card from the alphabet deck, W. So family tradition that starts with the letter W. Ed chimes in first and he says, walking. He wins the round. And then he and Melanie pick the next two people to go and that's how you build the team slowly over time. That's how it works. I have a different deck that we created for the example that you're gonna see so let's see how our Zoom friends and your game host for today. And we are going to play Stay at Home, Reflect with Me. It's uh, based on the game Quick Thinking. This is the quarantine version. I am selecting Brian and David to go first. You will chime in using the reaction button. And the way it works is I'm going to call out a category. And then I'm going to select a letter from my fancy alphabet deck here. And the first one of you to come up with an answer based on the category and say it wins that round. So Brian and David, you can go ahead and um, be ready to, to chime in here. What is a discovery you have made about yourself during this time that starts with the letter B? All right, David. Um, I think my daughter would say I'm a bit more boring than I um, usually am when she's only with me for about 45 minutes to an hour in the evening. All day long, I think I'm pretty boring. <laughs> That's really funny. All right, I've unmuted you and Brian. So both of you, or I'm trying to, Brian, both of you select someone else to take your place and be on your team? Uh, I choose Holly. I will choose Melanie. Okay, Melanie and Holly. The category is what I miss most. Starts with an M. Melanie. <clears throat> I miss Miranda, Marcella, and mom. That is so unfair. <laughs> it's like I tailor made that one for you. Okay. Holly, Miranda, Marcella are my daughters and my mom. Holly and uh, Melanie picked the next two people. And by the way, in the Jackie uh, little Brady Bunch square is also Travis. Okay. Um, I'll pick Jim. I like his background. I'll pick Ann. Okay. Jim and Ann. Who is the person, this will be tough, who's the person that you've talked to the most? I'm just going to say has an L in their name. Oh, I see Ann. Ann, try unmuting yourself. Daniel, my son, Daniel. All right. But that doesn't start with an L. She said has an L. Oh, I, well, I made it easier for you guys. You're so nice. All Quick right, question. Here's... Quick question. So are we on teams? Do we still get to chime in or is just the new people? Just the new people. It's like family feud. You oh, know, you're okay. Going, you're going to the next one. Gotcha. So, this okay, should gotcha. be the last round or close to the last round. So Jim and Ann, who are you picking? 
All right, I'll take Jackie and Travis. Should we have them compete against each other since they're in the same room? <laughs> yeah. All right. Good. All right. Jackie and Travis. Mwahaha. Oh, here we go. I know you guys. What is a new dish that you have created in the kitchen that starts with an F? Oh, uh, was it fennel? Is that, is that yes. enough? Yes. Yes, we had, uh, was it grilled fennel or like, something? Yeah, roasted. Roasted fennel. And some fennel pesto. Yeah, it was good too. <laughs> nice. So let's do one more. So if Joyce wants to play and you guys pick, one of you pick Joyce and one of you pick someone else. All right, I'll pick uh, Joyce, I guess. And, uh, uh let's see who else is are there two joyces i can get brendan to play holly we're gonna pick holly too oh you got out okay i'm unmuting joyce and holly what is something that has made you laugh during this time with a j go ahead holly Jim from the office. <laughs> nice. The second activity I want to teach you is called, this isn't a pen, it's actually a, and you fill in the blank. Everyone has a pen. They hold it up. You start. This isn't a pen, it's actually a lightsaber. And then you name the next person to go, like Anne. You can actually, if they want to have fun, they can point to Anne or whatever, but they at least have to call her. She holds up her pen and goes, this isn't a pen, it's actually a toothbrush. And then she names the next person and hands it off to them. You can go for a long time with this one. As long as you have ideas, you can just keep it going and see what the group can do. Fun, simple, creative icebreaker actual warm up and thinking out of the box so it's great for introducing uh, vision planning or just getting your thinking caps going we need to solve this problem we need to think about this so let's see what our friends do this isn't a pen what are they going to say it is this may look like a pen but it actually doesn't even look like a pen sorry so i had <laughs> uh, this may look like a pen, but really it's a microphone for me to sing some great songs from as I'm listening to the radio in the background. Nice. And I will just pass it down to Holly, who's below me. Okay. So this may look like a pen, but it's actually a tongue depressor. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, I'm going to pass it sideways over to Jim because he's next to me. You ready, Jim? I'm coming at you from your right. Well, okay. your right. Is that your right? Okay, here we go. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is it, Jim? That way? No. I passed it. In. Oh, yes. that way. <laughs> what do you want from a sonic screwdriver? <laughs> oh, that's what it is, a sonic screwdriver. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> or mightier than the sword. Pick one. I did you get it. All right. So now this is not a pen, but this is mightier than the sword. So I shall pass this now to Brian, because he is to my right. But I'm gonna tell y'all, based on the screen that's recording here. Y'all have no idea where your pens are going. <laughs> <laughs> this may look like a pen, but actually it's a submarine. And that's going to Anne. This may look like a pen, but really it is a straw going to my Sonic um, Lemonade Limeade Slush. And I'm passing it to Joyce. Um, this imaginary thing that I'm holding, <laughs> um, may look like a pen, but it's really a French baguette. <laughs>
Melanie? <laughs> Wait a minute, Melanie. Unmute yourself. Unmuting. Okay. <clears throat> so this may look like a pen, but it's actually a coffee stirrer that is very important during this time. Yes. Hmm. And now this, this fabulous coffee stirrer, everybody, thank you for your coffee, is, is now going to do a nosedive to Jackie and Travis, because that's where they are on my screen. Uh, I'll go. So this may look like a pen, but it's actually a flute. <laughs> oh, you and I will pass this flute on to Jackie. This may look like a flute, but it's actually a transportation device and it's transporting itself all the way through the screen back to Susan. <laughs> Very nice. The third game I want to teach you is called Take a Seat. You have everyone stand behind their chair. You call the statement. If the statement is true for the people in your group, they will walk around the chair and take a seat. For example, take a seat if you have a dog. They'll run around sit down you're watching and the last person to sit is the new caller for the next round so everyone gets back up gets back behind their chair and they call out the second statement so everyone will stand up behind your chair you just need a little space to be able to get around and this is called take a seat so I'm going to call out a statement that is true for me. It's something I like doing or something I would like to do. And if that statement is also true for you, you will walk around and take a seat. And the last person to sit will be the new caller who will make the next statement. I would like to have some coffee. What if you stub your toe on the way around? Ouch. I think Holly, it was between Holly and Melody. I'm going to say Holly. So no, everybody's Holly's still standing. Oh, she, she, I yeah. thought she moved though. I was starting to sit, but then I, I realized I've already had two cups. I don't, I should not have. I gotcha. I'm so drinking Mel, tea. Thank you very much. I'm drinking tea as well. So Melanie, you're going to be the next mm. statement. Everybody stands up again behind your chair. David was still standing. David That's okay. Standing. That means it wasn't true for him. No. You only sit if it's true for you and you agree with the statement. Gotcha. Okay. True for me. Okay. <clears throat> um, I am tired of looking at the same four walls. Uh. <laughs> All right. That's going to be Travis. So everybody stand again and travis will share the next statement then you'll take a seat if it's true for you um i am ready to go well it's kind of the same uh thing but i'm ready to go out and meet other people no offense jack but go out and inter inter interact with other all my friends i guess <laughs> no offense, no offense <laughs> So there you go, you get the feel for how take a seat works. So those are the three games we wanted to demonstrate with my gaming friends. And I appreciate you guys for joining me for that.